a little while ago, I did this render of some graffiti. Uh, or better known across Octane and stuff, stickers, I guess. And it was pretty fun. It was <laughs> much easier to do now because of blind materials. With mixed materials, it's very tedious. And you end up with a lot of materials. Guarantee there was an easier way to do it. Not many tutorials kicking about on it though. I mean, that's how I learn. I'm sure that's how you learn if you're here as well. And any way I found out that gave me a little bit of information on it. It was in some two hour long presentation or something and I just had to get lucky and find it at that certain point or something and having messed around with this technique it came out quite nice so I'm going to show you how to do that today. I've just set up this little scene here with this wood. The first time I did it I believe I did it on a brick wall. Now I would suggest doing this in blind materials it just makes it a little bit easier. It literally like a mixed material all in one. Very fun. And we're going to get started with our uh, our sticker. So uh, I'm going to attach this file with tons of types of stickers you can use. Um, I suggest using PNGs or something with a solid white background. Uh, I'll show you in a second though. So just set up your material, your background material, whatever it's going to be. Um, bricks, anything. I... I think I got this. I think this is one of the free ones on Polygon, so you should be able to find this easily uh, if you're looking for this. I'll probably leave this project file attached as well, which should help if you just want to come and look at it. I did record this tutorial once, but um, it was like the render I had from doing the tutorial just didn't look very nice. And it was just kind of like, I know it's not about that. It's not about making the render look nice in the tutorial, but I just kind of like that level of presentation, I guess. I want you to see what you can create, because it's not like I'm a god and I'm making stuff nobody else can make. Far from it. <laughs> Wrong scene. That's the render. I'll probably put it up on the screen editing, though. Um, stickers. Stickers. Where did I put them? Here we go. This is what I'll put. Um, don't try and use these commercially. Just... Don't you get it? I don't know. <laughs> you just go and use the Adidas logo commercial. Um, no, uh, I just went and grabbed these and was messing around with them. Uh, so if you're looking for stuff to mess around with, but it's just you get the idea, you see what it is. That one actually doesn't work. Um, so I'll do that. I don't know if that one works. Um, here's where I found them. You'll see it. You can go and look through it. This one is awesome. That really shows it. Um, so just bring in the diffuse like that and you're probably like the hell bro nothing's happening well you just bring this in to the amount there we go uv transform uv projection just to uh so that's what we're gonna use to move this about make it look good um now what we do need to do is duplicate that Now you want to link these up to the same, so you're not messing with tons of values. Something you can only do in the node editor. Get node editor now for twelve nine nine a month. Imagine if like node editor was a separate thing you had to pay for. I will just put that in the amount. So this is kind of the image. This is the color. So now then we'll go white color alpha. Bang! There you go. Um, now that could change depending on the colors of the background, but one of these combinations is going to work, whether it's black color flow, whatever, one of them is going to work. Uh, and of course that did our color, otherwise all it did is take the outline and put it there. This one, that's the color for us, which is lovely. Now, I can never get these right, but it's upside down, there we go. Maybe scale that down. I'll show you a neat little trick I discovered uh, doing this, which was really cool. Um, if you take your normal and bring it down, it's gonna, the sticker is gonna start taking in like the grooves or uh, grooves of the wooden planks or like with the bricks or anything. So now all of a sudden, it looks way cooler. It looks like it's actually. If I can get a cool thing of it. It looks like it's actually on the wood. 
which is nice and fun. And of course you could add like a noise around it or something, make it look a bit, if I get a good shot so you can see it's on the wood. There you go. I know it's not rendering, but you, you get the idea. You know what it's doing. You know what normal math is. And then you can mess with the scale in a little bit. Uh, kind of make it look how you want. And lock that again. It's fun. It's a lot of fun, actually. It's really. That's such a cool. Like, I love using these kind of things, um, graffiti type images as well. Now I'll try and destroy it a little bit for you, so you can see. Um, this isn't glossy, is it? I don't want it to be glossy. That's why it was looking a bit faded. Yeah, do yourself a favor. Don't don't set these as glossy. You can do it though, and if you mess with the um, oh, what was it called? It's, they've changed it now. Um, the f it could be the film layer or something. You mess with whatever you do to get the um. Iridescent, there you go. Um, <laughs> whatever you do to get it, you can make it look like a hologram sticker, like those things on Counter Strike or something. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. I did that with some of them. Now, what are we gonna do? Okay, just to show you this noise into the color, or do we not want to do it into the color? No, don't do it into the color. Do it into here. And mm, kind of do a bit of that, a bit of this, a bit of that. Why does it always go all the way there? Why? 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 And then gradient. And then, oof. just gonna make it. Just look a bit destroyed. It's nice if you're on wood or brick or something to do that. You can see that's probably a bit tight and a bit too noisy. You can use a surface imperfection texture if you've got them lying about. Uh, I definitely look cool, especially if you're doing like phone stickers or something. That's it's definitely gonna look nice. Of course, that's really simple. You can add tons of values here to make that look cool. Um, and of course, that's that's just one. And you want to add a third one? Well, we can do that. Don't go worry. What's using this amount? I'm trying to look. Why is the displacement just automatically went in the amount? <laughs> that would confuse me then. <laughs> okay. Uh, should we duplicate the whole thing for the tutorial's sake? Um, or should I do it? I'll do it again from scratch in case, you know, I mean, you could just re-watch re that whole bit. But, you know, it's handy to do it again and again. I'm duplicating these though. And then amount. And then. Where have you gone? So yeah, sorry if you were like relying on me for tutorials and then I didn't upload in however many months. I think it's been like four months or something. I want to say that I've been busy, but for lack of a better term, I think the word lazy sums it up quite well. Just been concentrating on other stuff, not really had the incentive to come uh, and make any tutorials or anything. But anyhow, I'm here now, ain't I? So that's cool. I never used this one. This one actually looks dope. Uh, imagine having tattoos like this. I always picture myself having tattoos like this. Don't know if I'll ever get tattoos though, because I've got a feeling I regret it 10 minutes after. And that shit's on your body for life. I'd do it if it was like, yeah, it's gonna last nine months. Really, yeah, dope. Cool. But no, that's not how it is, apparently. Get a tattoo, you're gonna have it till you're 90. That's not what I want. <laughs> no. This one does look cool. I like that. I'm gonna use, for the tutorial's sake, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna use the same. Now, to get variation, typically you wouldn't use the same. I mean, you could do, you could use the same noise, different gradient, but I'm just gonna use. I'm going to power it off of that just to get the same. I'm not going to say waste time. Uh, haven't tried Octane 4 yet. Don't want to until it's stable because I'll get angry at it. Um, 
can turn these and stuff as well. Uh, is that? Or maybe you can't, okay. Legit, why isn't it turning? Oh wow. That one does look cool. I actually got a feeling this one would be really cool. Big and kind of... Oh, there. <laughs> That's why it won't turn in. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot that needs coffee. That's why. It's just about the right time as well. Three o'clock. It's like the time you need coffee in the day. The most. Aside from when you first wake up. This looks cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember this would probably be just like a plank of wood. Of course you can layer them as well. It's what, whatever is literally chronological when it comes to what's on top of what. So that's um, that's something to bear in mind. I do want this one to be more faded though. So just to set that before, I, I'm going to use a different gradient on it. Get something like that. Yeah, there we go. That looks dope. Looks awesome. I'll do one more, but I'll kind of duplicate the heck out of it this time. Uh, just so you can see, you can just keep going. I don't know what the max is um, for. Of course, you probably want to see the way I tidied that up. You probably want to tidy the whole thing up a bit. Um, God knows what the uh, max is. I've never went that far. Surely somebody has, though. It must get to a point where you're just negating stuff when you just keep going like that. I mean, what difference are you like? I, I mean, I was happy with mixed materials for so long. I feel spoiled, even though you get to a certain point with mixed materials, you do just start adding um, a lot more stuff. Okay, input four. See, it's took my amount again. Where's it put it? Displacement. Yeah. Okay. Can I grab that, please? Asshole. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. I hope I've really simplified this. Apparently, it's a hard thing to do. <laughs> Maybe, like, I think I've figured out some grand scheme to doing it, and there's, like, some button you can click. I, I'm always like that when I create these. I'm like, I swear there's just a button you can click, and it does it. And I'm over here thinking I'm dope. I like this one. I don't think the monkey one works very well. Probably delete that out of the file as well. I've really been rambling today, I know. Oh, there we go. I kind of want to flip that. But, bring it down here. So you can really... Oh, you can do some awesome stuff with that. Did I leave that glossy after all the time? Yeah, you're good. We'll use the same gradient this time. Oh, got you. Oh, there we go. Probably a bit too damaged, but there you go. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to keep messing about with it. But, oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. You could honestly just go on for so long doing that. Imagine just like sticker bombing the whole thing. Doing a car, so yeah, if you, yeah, if like, I mean, aside from like UV mapping and stuff, I'm guessing that's usually where most people would go, especially if you need a livery or something. You'd probably just do a quick UV map, but I wouldn't because uh, <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh, I just sort of, I, I prefer to do stuff, I, especially if you're only doing like the, the odd render here and there, like I do. Stuff like tricks like this comes in really handy. Uh, as messy as the node editor may get. Uh, I feel like the node editor is like a language. Like, you show this to a layman and they're like, what's going on? I mean, of course it is. Someone comes look at Cinema 4D and they don't know what it is. It's like another language. But I'm not going to keep rambling. Uh, I'll try and make some more tutorials because I've got some neat ideas. And I'm going to try and create some more renders. I'm gonna, I am gonna. want to try and do more landscape stuff. I want to try and do more mountains. Um, I think for a while I was trying to force myself to do r renders I wasn't really caring about just for the um, excitement of variation which seems to die out when you're happy doing the same thing again and again. Uh, so I'll probably do a world machine tutorial or something because uh, that stuff is dope and it's like my favourite renders to do. So that's been this tutorial. I hope it comes in really handy. I've got a Patreon now um, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's going to give you anything that's going to add 
uh, a fountain of youth to your life because it's not you don't need it but there may be some stuff on there that'll help you uh, i'm just honestly putting up tons of stuff on there that uh that i think is useful to other people so if you're interested in that uh go take a look uh, and see if there's anything on there that you might find valuable i'll probably end up putting most render project files and, and stuff up there uh so yeah thanks for watching and um see you in the next tutorial whenever that may be make sure you have fun with this is uh that's my secret this was my secret not really probably like a million people i know how to do it anyway bye <laughs>